What's going on guys, Jeff here for Mad Hatteras Reef and today we're going to be taking a look at the top 10 butterfly fish for your reef tank. But before we jump into that, if this is your first time being here, this is where I talk about everything reef tank related. So if you love reef tanks like I do, make sure you hit that subscribe button and the bell so you can be notified every time that I upload a new video, which I do every single week. Now in today's video, we're going to be talking about butterfly fish like we already talked about, but butterfly fish are not great additions to reef tanks which they're probably better suited for fish only or fish only with live rock which is often referred to as a fowler setup butterfly fish are just not great candidates for a reef tank mostly due to the fact that they are known to nip at corals and even eat invertebrates from time to time so make sure you take that into consideration while we go through this top 10 and always make sure that you have a wish list you put that together turn that into a plan and then quarantine fish and then add them to your tank and i've gone over this whole process time and time again if you want to check that out there's a link in the description below on how i add fish to my tanks it's not just as easy as going to the store buying them throwing them in the tank it takes a little bit more figuring things out to get that done right the first time. Coming in at number 10 on our top 10 butterfly fish for a fish only system is the Pakistan butterfly fish. I don't think I've ever seen a saltwater fish that has probably some of the most bland colorations done in a more beautiful array of color. This guy is moderate care level, has a peaceful temperament, carnivore based diet, is not reef safe, grows upwards of seven inches and requires a minimum tank size of 125 gallons. Now, important to note that most of these fish, again, are not reef safe. The Pakistan butterfly fish actually will eat stony corals. So that's why it's not recommended for a reef tank. They also have an appetite for marine fish, crustaceans, brine shrimp, and other frozen meaty foods and should be fed several times a day coming in at number nine on our top 10 butterfly fish for a fish only or fowler setup is the teardrop butterfly fish now this butterfly fish is considered moderate care level has a peaceful temperament omnivore based diet is not considered reef safe grows upwards of eight inches and requires a minimum tank size of 125 gallons now your typical price point for this fish is anywhere from 35 up to 45 dollars depending on its size and is a fish again that is not reef safe due mostly to the fact that it has been known to nip at corals and eat different invertebrates so it's definitely something that you need to take in consideration as if you are not sure whether or not you want to go reef tank or fish only it's very important to make sure that you match up what you want to achieve with your aquarium with the type of critters that you want to keep in it. So if you find this fish absolutely beautiful and need to have it, maybe a Fowler setup is going to be the right setup for you. Coming in at number eight, and eight is great, we got the yellow-headed or yellow-head butterfly fish. Price point on this guy, definitely a solid $50, and this fish is absolutely stunning. Some of the colorations on this fish, you got that yellow face, with that black mark around the eye and then it has this like pearl white body and then you have the yellow fins highlighted in both uh, a darker yellow as well as a blue very interesting looking butterfly fish as far as care level goes with this guy he is a moderate care level fish has a peaceful temperament omnivore based diet is not considered reef safe he can grow upwards of eight inches and requires a minimum tank size of 125 gallons I think it's important to mention that even though that the price point on this fish isn't substantial, this isn't a very common butterfly fish and may be hard to find. So definitely one that you want to appreciate, but maybe have a realistic outlook if you're trying to get one for yourself. Coming in at number seven on our top 10 butterfly fish for your fish only, we may have one here that may, may just work out in a reef tank. Although he is difficult care level has a peaceful temperament carnivore based diet reef safe with caution i think that's the first butterfly fish on this list that actually is reef safe with caution so some of these fish are known to do okay in a reef tank and some of them are known 
to not be okay in a reef tank. As far as size, they grow upwards of 8 inches and require a minimum tank size of 125 gallons. Now, kind of diving back into why this fish is difficult care level has a lot to do with the fact that they just aren't good feeders. It's very difficult to feed this fish. And even though that they are difficult to feed, it is one of the fish that are known to actually eat Aptasia, which that's a 50-50 chance on whether or not that's going to work. But they are one of the few fish out there that actually will eat Aptasia. And if you're not familiar with what those are, good for you. It's an anemone that kind of grows in a reef tank that can get really out of hand. It's a type of pest anemone, really. And this is one of the few fish out there that actually will eat it, as long as he actually will eat. Coming in at number six on our top 10 butterfly fish for your reef tank is the Threadfin Butterfly Fish. Now, this guy, awesome story about this one. Actually, just recently, this fish was successfully raised in an aquarium setting by Mr. Frank Bench which I just recently talked about on a episode of Saltwater Aquarium Radio, which if I'm familiar with what that is, it is my podcast where I talk about reef tanks and everything that has to do with them. And we have a new episode that drops every single week. There'll be a link in the description below if you want to check that out. But this fish was just recently successfully raised in an aquarium. Now, wasn't bred. It actually was uh, caught or the eggs were harvested on a plankton toe, and then from there was raised in an aquarium setting. But nonetheless, definitely an amazing feat to be raising butterfly fish in an aquarium setting. And my hat's off to Mr. Bench. As far as this guy, they are considered easy to care for, have a peaceful temperament, omnivore-based that are not considered reef safe, can grow upwards of 8 inches, and require a minimum tank size of 125 gallons. Coming in at number five on our top 10 butterfly fish for your Fowler setup is the raccoon butterfly fish. This guy, as far as butterfly fish are considered, is a staple. Price point on this guy, a little bit on the higher end, $89 for a medium size raccoon butterfly fish. Not the most wallet friendly fish on this list. They are considered easy to care for, have a peaceful temperament, omnivore based diet, are not considered reef safe grow upwards of 8 inches, and require a minimum tank size of 125 gallons. Definitely a beautiful fish. Has some really interesting marks on there. It's got browns, yellows, striping going on, and then the black patchwork on the eye. Very beautiful fish. Check it out, the raccoon butterfly fish. Coming in at number 4 on our top 10 butterfly fish for that fish only, or fish only with live rock, is the pearl scale butterfly fish. Now, a little bit pricier, kind of like the raccoon guy. Uh, we got a $59 to $69 price tag on this fish, although it is incredibly beautiful. And I think they kind of missed it on the name here, even though it is a very pearl-esque coloration. I feel like it should have been like the dragon scale butterfly fish. Definitely a beautiful fish. Orange tail, white body, black markings on the eye. They are moderate care level, have a peaceful temperament, omnivore-based diet, are not considered of the reef safe, grow upwards of 6 inches, and require a minimum tank size of 70 gallons, which I think is one of the smallest size aquariums for this type of fish, but definitely a beautiful addition and definitely worth checking out. Coming in at number 3 on our top 10 butterfly fish is the yellow long nose butterfly fish. Now, if this guy looks familiar, it is one of the fish that actually was featured on the great movie Saving Nemo. This was one of the fish that was in the dentist tank and definitely a standard when it comes to butterfly fish. As far as care level goes, he's moderate care level, has a peaceful temperament, carnivore-based diet, is reef safe with caution. Whoa, hold the phone. Grows upwards of 9 inches and requires a minimum tank size of 125 gallons. I feel like that's a little bit small of a tank considering this guy can grow upwards of 9 inches. But considering its body structure, he's cheating a little bit there with his nose. Coming in at number 2 on our top 10 butterfly fish, the Marine Depot logo the double saddle butterfly fish now as far as price point pretty friendly on the wallet you're talking 30 to 40 dollars depending on the size of the fish that you pick up and where you pick it up 
They are moderate care level, peaceful temperament, have an omnivore-based diet. They are not considered reef safe and can grow upwards of six inches and require a minimum tank size of 125 gallons. Now, we talked about him not being reef safe, and that is due mostly to the fact that this guy will eat mushroom corals, which is mind-blowing to me. He also will eat anemones and stony corals. So this is definitely a guy that you do not want to put in a tank where you have your bounce mushrooms chilling. And coming in at the number one spot on our top 10, the spot ban butterfly fish. Probably, in my opinion, one of the most beautiful butterfly fish in existence. And he's a little bit friendly on the wallet, too. He's not going to break the bank. Typically going to be anywhere from $70 to $60 in price point. Again, depending on its size. This guy is easy to care for, has a peaceful temperament, omnivore-based diet, is not considered reef safe, grows upwards of 5 inches, requires a minimum tank size of 70 gallons. All right, folks, that's going to do it for this one. If you enjoyed it, make sure you hit the thumbs up. And if you want to dive a little bit deeper into the subject of saltwater fish, check this video out. I will see you over there.